to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen here we are, leaving the Flying J. We're still bobtailing. Yeah, that's right. We are still bobtailing. Now we're gonna go pick up that uh, empty trailer here in Belvedere. And then we'll head over to Forest View, Illinois. Which is right in downtown. Well, not right in downtown, but uh, it's more into town of Chicago. Yeah. Well. 1,000 feet, turn left on Gardner Street, US 51, and then take the entrance to the right in 900 feet. Look what else it is doing. It is snowing. Yeah. That's never a good thing. Well, I don't know if never, but right now I don't need it. I don't need snow. Especially since I'm bobtailing, you know. That's the last thing I need. Oh, this one is going to take my line. In right. 800 feet, take the entrance to the right on I-39 South, I-90 East, US 51 South. It was coming all the way over into this line from on the other side, so that was not good. It was blocking me from being able to turn, you know. There we go. We gotta go this way. Anyways, we'll go and uh, do our things, like picking up the empty and try and In three miles. pick up our preload and then we gotta get back into this stuff. <laughs> That's right, gotta get back into this snow. Or who knows, maybe it's snowing more over there than it is here. <laughs> you never know, right? That's right. Fun, fun, fun. So that's coming right along with me today and see what kind of action we will see today. I'll be trying to get it on camera. That's right. Alrighty guys, we have just finished picking up our uh, empty trailer here in Belvedere, Illinois. Yeah, now we got 78 miles to go to where we uh, pick up our preloaded trailer. As you can see, it's snowing. That's right. Yeah, stuff is getting to be white. <clears throat> yeah, well, at least I didn't get up too early this morning to get down here because uh, Chicago traffic can be terrible, you know. So we'll see how it is going to be now. It's already quarter after nine. So we'll have to see how it goes, but uh, I think it should be okay by the time we get down there. It's another hour and 15 minutes or so. It'll be about 10.30ish, maybe quarter to uh, 11 by the time I get to the place where I'm supposed to pick up my load. So maybe by that time traffic will be gone and if I can just pick up my trailer and hightail out of there, I'll be out of traffic already before uh, before uh, all, all the rush hour starts, you know. I'll be out of Chicago. That's what I meant to say. That's right. Anyways, let's go make our way down there and see what happens. Look at this four-wheeler up here. He was up there in the other lane. Look at this guy too. What in the world? Like that wasn't even the turning lane. Two of these four wheelers cut me off like that. That's up here in Chicago, you know? Boy, oh boy. These darn four wheelers, eh? Oh well, what can you do, eh? There's no patience. 
we just picked up our preloaded trailer here in Chicago area. Forest View, Illinois, that's called. Speed warning. Oh, shut up. It's not even 45 speed limit up here. It's 55 up here. And he's screaming at me. <laughs> Anyways, we picked up our preloaded trailer and now we're gonna hightail home. 875 miles to go home to. That's right. GPS wanted me to go right downtown and then go up I-90 up there. I don't know why the GPS always wants to do that. Go right downtown Chicago on I-90. I hate that. Why do you why do you want me to do that shit, you know? Oh well. That, no, the satellite is going crazy. Well, I mean, that's probably because I sent in my uh, info for my load, you know, and uh, they probably are working on clearing the load for the border, so, and I also sent a message, there was uh, a rim that's damaged on the uh, passenger side, the first axle there, somebody's driven over a curb or something. And there is some damage on the rim and the uh, tire doesn't look like damage but it's scratched up like crazy so I sent them a message too that uh, there was some damage on the trailer so that way they are aware of it that it wasn't me it was well like that when I picked up the trailer and maybe that's another reason why they're sending me another message but I can't look at it now I'm driving so We'll wait till we stop somewhere and look at it. Yep, that's right. If you really need to know something, then they can call me. We do have a Bluetooth, but we can talk wirelessly. So we don't do any handheld device talking or texting. Yeah, that's right. So let's go find out and see how much snow we got up here uh, further towards Wisconsin. It's been snowing all morning long when I left uh, South Beloit, Illinois, which is just across the border from Wisconsin. So we'll see how far we can make it. I've only driven about two hours, maybe two and a half hours or something like that. So I can uh, get some good miles in yet today. I can probably get another eight hours worth of driving in. That's right. But we'll have to have our half an hour break somewhere yet. I had a half an hour off over there, but uh, it's only been two hours since I've been on duty, right? So I'm gonna have to do another half an hour somewhere before I can drive my full 11. Yeah, that's right. Anyways, let's continue on with our journey. Let's go home. Alrighty guys, we are going to go ahead and make a pit stop here at uh, Portage, Wisconsin. Yeah, we're back here again. Remember, we was only here yesterday. Here we go again. I told you guys I was going to come through here again. That's right, here we are. I like the food here in this restaurant, so... I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go pull her over and go inside here and uh, grab me a bite to eat again. Well, I haven't had anything to eat today at all, so. And that was the only meal I had yesterday, too. I ate here and that's it. I had a big meal, so. Didn't really feel hungry last night. Didn't really feel hungry, hungry this morning, so. We've been working all day already. It's already quarter to three right now. So we're gonna go ahead and put her in here and uh, like I said, grab another bite to eat and have our half an hour off. And then we'll go over to uh, Black River Falls, Wisconsin. And get ourselves a grease job done on the truck and change my diesel filters and my oil filter. And at least we'll have that taken care of. 
So we'll be right back, y'all. Here we go, guys. We have just had our pit stop there at the Tantra there in Portage. We went inside, had a bite to eat, and uh, I was looking over there at that truck wash, and there's only like one truck in the lineup over there, so I said, yeah. I've been eating a truck wash here for a couple of weeks now, so yeah, let's wash all the salt off from driving in Ontario, right? So uh, yeah, I decided to go get a truck wash done. So now we have a fairly cleaner truck. It's not quite as clean as I would have liked it to be, but uh, yeah, the truck was super dirty too, so plus they were rushing their washing a little bit today, but Normally that place there does a very good job in washing the trucks, but today it was not the best, but it was still worth it. It was still worth it. Anyways, now we're got to go over to Black River Falls and get a uh, grease job done and all that stuff, so. way down there and see what happens from here to there right alrighty guys we are done for today yeah we are in Clearwater Minnesota we have made it past Minneapolis that was the goal for today we have 409 miles to go to get home so we should have no problem getting home early tomorrow afternoon we got here at quarter to nine that's pretty early well early for some people I guess for me that's already late I don't really like driving that late but yeah well what can you do right but anyways we are done for today now yeah, we got pretty good parking in here there's a few parking spots open yet over here so yeah I didn't stop at the uh, petrol there's a petrol just down the road from here and uh, a buddy of mine told me about this one here he said there's almost always parking in here so and he was right there is there is parking in here so uh, we pulled into a spot and we are finito for today that's right anyways we're gonna go to bed here very soon so we can get up early and get out of here as soon as our 10 hours is up so I figured I'd just close the video for today and with that being said have a good one everybody thank you very much for watching my video today if you liked it hit that like button and share the video if you're new to the channel hey hit that subscribe button thank you very much in advance it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come